May 1973, short and English intermediate grade. Get ready for the dictation. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Start. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasant privilege to welcome you all to this conference. This is the first occasion on which I am meeting you all together here and I greet you most warmly and extend my support to you in the service of the people of Tamil Nadu. We are meeting at a time when as a nation we can reasonably take pride in fighting for the principles of democracy and socialism. The devotion to duty and spirit of sacrifice of our armed forces will continue to inspire generations. We are proud to say that the peace-loving people of this country have not only established their self-respect but also strengthened the foundations of democracy. We have proved to the world that our intention was not to capture the lands of other countries but the survival of peace and democracy in our country. On this proud occasion, on my behalf and on behalf of all of you, I salute the memory of those brave men of the armed forces who died so that India may live. I am happy to say that the government of India have announced measures and taken steps which will give great relief to their family members who are entitled to every consideration as members of our family. During the year gone by, our state had a good season on the agricultural front. The rainfall during the southwest monsoon was by and large normal, excepting in some parts of the state. During the northeast monsoon, almost all districts received insufficient rains. However, the earlier rainfall and the better distribution of later rains in certain districts have greatly helped our dry land areas. It is our estimate that the production of food grains will reach the target we have fixed. I need hardly point out that this has been the effect of continued and sustained emphasis on the provision of necessary inputs such as fertilizers, better seeds, more credit and better water management. As a result of the earnest steps taken by this government and with the assistance of Government of India and financial institutions, an investment of nearly rupees 100 crores will take place in the southern part of our state. We are also writing to the Government of India about the urgent necessity to set up an industrial refinery there so as to make our country self-sufficient in this matter. At the same time, our request for the establishment of a number of large-scale industries in our state continues to be strongly reiterated. I hope that the Government of India will take an immediate decision on this very important request. This project would enable the employment of a very large number of educated young men and women and at the same time help to produce adequate quantities of raw materials which would incidentally decrease to a great extent our reliance on imports. During the previous year, government approached the problem of unemployment from a number of directions. Letter from the business manager 
versus Raman and Company Private Limited Dealers in Hospital Equipments 35 Raja Street Pune 1 Addressed to Mrs. Robinson and Company Limited, 24 King Road, Bombay, 25. Dear Sirs, we are sorry to have your complaint to which we will reply in detail after we have made enquiries. Our instructions were full and clear and we are surprised to learn that they have apparently not been carried out. There should have been five cases. Why you have received only four, we do not know. The railway authorities report is most unsatisfactory. We trust that you will enter a protest. We are pleased to hear that trade is improving and hope that the improvement will continue. We will always do our best to give prompt delivery of goods urgently required and we are now in a better position than ever to cope with orders. We have overhauled our sun-dry departments, replaced old machinery, installed new plant and adopted the latest scientific methods in all branches of our activities. Can we demonstrate our ability to serve you by sending you supplies of any of the specialities enumerated in the enclosed list? Yours faithfully.